In this video, I will go over the Quick Setup Wizard. The Quick Setup Wizard is what you initially see when you activate the MainWP dashboard plugin. Before we begin, I'm going to assume you know how to install and activate plugins, so I will skip that part. You also need to have two WordPress sites ready. The first site is where you plan to install the dashboard plugin. Once activated, the site is referred to as your main WP dashboard. It is not required, although it is highly recommended to install the main WP dashboard to a clean WordPress installation and not on one of your operating sites. This helps to eliminate any unnecessary plugin conflicts. The second site is the one you want to be controlled by your main WP dashboard. Once that site is connected to your dashboard, it is referred to as your child site. Once you have those two sites ready, let's get started. After you activate the dashboard plugin, the quick setup wizard will open automatically. On the landing page, you will see options to start the quick setup wizard or to enable demo mode. Demo mode will import placeholder data to give you a feel for the main WP dashboard and enabling it will skip the rest of the quick setup wizard. We have a separate video explaining demo mode, which can be accessed by clicking this link. Let's now proceed with the quick setup wizard. On this page, you will see the option to watch a walkthrough video, which is the video you are currently watching. You can also go back to WP Admin or skip the Quick Setup Wizard. You also have the option to enable Main WP Guided Tours. These are interactive tours that explain the functionality of the dashboard. These are highly recommended for new users. We will disable it for the purpose of this video, and I will leave a link to our video covering guided tours in the description. Let's proceed with the wizard by clicking the Let's Go button. The second page is the system requirements check for your dashboard. Most sites will have no issue with these requirements. If your site doesn't satisfy all requirements, please refer to our help documentation for more information. Everything looks good on our end, so we're gonna click continue. Now, we're going to connect our first child site. We have the main WP child plugin installed on the child site, and we are going to activate it now. You'll notice you get this big attention box that's letting you know you need to connect the child site to your dashboard. So let's jump back to the dashboard. We're gonna to toggle this to confirm we have activated the main WP child plugin. This will unroll additional fields that need to be filled in to connect the child site. Those are the URL of the child site and the administrator username from the child site. The URL of the site will be automatically used for the site title, but you can set a custom one. For example, my first child site. Finally, we're gonna press connect site. If everything's gone right, you will see the congratulations page where you will be given the option to create a new client. This client will be automatically assigned to the child site you've just added to your dashboard. The only required information for clients is the name, but you are free to fill in other information as well. And you can also add additional contacts for this client. Let's click add client to create the client and continue to the next page. The next page is monitoring. First up is basic uptime monitoring. If you toggle that on, you'll get a frequency option with selections ranging from every five minutes to once per day. We'll just leave that at the default value, which is every hour. Next is site health monitoring. Site health monitoring was introduced in WordPress version 5.2, and your main WP dashboard will report back values for all your child sites, so there's no need to check them individually. Site Health Threshold lets your dashboard know when you want notifications of an issue. Let's leave that at the default value, should be improved. Once you have those set, we'll press continue. That big thumbs up is letting you know your dashboard is ready. And we're gonna select Start Managing Your Sites. And you'll be in your main WP dashboard with one site added and one contact created. Congratulations on completing Quick Setup Wizard. We hope you enjoy your time using MainWP.